Hi guys, good morning and welcome to vlog number three. Congratulations, ma'am. Done. Done. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good morning. So, today is my first day of post op checkup. And so far, so good. Wala naman na kong nafi feel na kahit ano. Aside from medyo blurry paminsan. Kasi siya, siguro nag adjust pa yung eyes ko. But di na ako nakapag-vlog kahapon. Right after the surgery. Kasi nung nag-wear off yung anesthesia, nakaramdam na ako ng sakit ng ulo. Pero tolerable naman. And they also gave me the medicine that I'm supposed to take kapag hindi ko na kaya yung pain. So, yun. Today, babalik ako sa Shinagawa to have my post-op checkup. And then, again, after, a week after. I'll see you again later. Bye. I need to know how to go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Try it. Okay, you can be back. I'm transferred to the first chair. Okay, so since it's your first day, you need to check your eyes. Put eyes open. Try that in here. Left. Okay. Up. Down. Right. Left. Right. Down. Left. Down, left, right, up, right. Very good here, man. Up. Okay, <laughs> okay. congratulations. Do measure blurry and hazy, mm -hmm. but it's okay since it's your first day right after the surgery. 
but today's special you can attain 2010 that is three lines better than 2020. as you can see ma'am this is only the standard and maximum vision which is in 2020 line but still you can attain better and good vision which is 2010 for both eyes okay Nadyo, expect mo ma'am fluctuating siya on the first day first look and first month since nag adjust pa yung eyes mo from the surgery all right Dr. Terrence will check your eyes po. You'll take your seat na lang muna sa couch area. Hi guys! Good morning! So today is my checkup after a week of surgery and um, I hope everything goes well. Na malalama, alam ko malalaman na today if 2010 ba yung na-reach ko na vision. So yeah. Um, see you later! Hi guys, so before I end this vlog, I just want to answer a few questions that might help those who are planning to get a LASIK surgery anytime in the future. So without further ado, let's get started. So first question and the most common question is, is it painful? So ito yung usual na unang tinatanong talaga ng mga taong gusto magpalasik. So it's 100% painless. You wouldn't feel anything during the surgery because first of all, may anesthesia. Second would be the only thing that you would feel is discomfort since you will be lying down with machines all over your head. So, yun, um, if you are planning to get LASIK surgery and you are worrying about the pain, it's 100% painless. Second question, how long is the procedure? So, the procedure, it depends on how cooperative you are with your doctor because you will be oriented before the surgery and there are also instructions that will be given to you while the surgery is ongoing. So, if you are good in following the doctor's orders, pati yung mga nurses around you, magiging smooth yung surgery mo. And it will usually last 10 to 15 minutes if walang maging problema during the surgery. Third question is, how long is the healing process? So, regarding the healing process, it varies per person. Eh. So, iba-iba siya per tao. But based on my experience, um, right after the surgery, makakakita naman kayo at nakakita din naman ako at nakapaglakad din naman ako on my own. It's just that you're not allowed to go home by yourself. Um, so after the screening and after the surgery, you have to have a companion with you because um, first and foremost, you're not allowed to drive after the surgery because pag nag-wear off yung anesthesia, makaka-feel kayo ng onting hilo or headache but itulog nyo lang siya and magiging okay na agad. Yon, after nyo magnap, just follow what the doctor said regarding your uh, drops, your painkillers. As long as sumusunod kayo sa doctor, there will be no problem 
in your healing process. Next are the do's and don'ts. So if you're planning to get a LASIK surgery, make sure to take note of these do's and don'ts. It's really, really important and it's quite a lot but it's very simple to do. First is make sure to follow the schedule of your drops. Um, for the first 24 hours, as much as possible, wag kayo makakamiss ng drops nyo and follow the exact time that it should be done. Next would be, don't forget to wear your eye goggles because it's really important that you're protected from all dust particles or any sharp objects na, ma na pwedeng tumama sa eyes nyo. Um, third would be, make sure to wear your eye shield at night that's yung eye goggles during the waking hours. Okay, another do's, make sure to get plenty of rest for the first 24 hours. If kaya na wala kayong work, wala kayong uh, other nagagawin aside from sleep, eat, ganyan, pahinga muna. Yun yung best for you. For the don'ts, for the first 24 hours, you're not allowed to drive or you're not allowed to go home by yourself. So, just make sure that you have a companion with you after the surgery na pwede kayong ipag-drive or samahan kayo pa -uwi. Don't engage in too much screen time. So, yun, sa phone, sa laptop, so personally, ako, mahilig akong gumamit ng phone, ng laptop. So, yun, iwasan muna siya talaga for the first 24 hours. As I said earlier, get some rest, get some sleep. So, yun, wala munang Netflix for the first 24 hours. Another don't is don't wash your face for the first 24 hours. Well, ang sabi sa amin ng nurse, kung kaya hindi maligo, wag na lang muna maligo for the first 24 hours para ma-avoid that na may pupuntang water sa eyes nyo. For the boys naman is wag lang magbubuhat muna, wala munang gym for the first Actually, for the first month, eh, hindi muna pwede magbuhat ng mabibigat. And yun nga, lalo na sa first week, talagang avoid carrying anything above 5 kilograms. So yun, boys, iwas muna sa gym for the first month. For the girls naman, um, it is advised that we put our hair on ponytail muna for the first week. Or as much as you can because... Um, it will help you na ma-avoid yung hair nyo going into your eyes which is very um, dangerous for your eyes na ma-poke ng kahit hair strand lang. So, like now, it has been a week after my surgery. So, sabi ni Doc, pwede daw minimal makeup basta wag lang sa eyes. So, as you can see, wala yung eyeshadow or mascara. Talagang foundation lang. Oh, tinted moisturizer, ganyan. Pwede na. So, eyebrows, pwede na rin. Basta avoid powdery makeups that might go into your eyes. So, another don't is you're not allowed to swim for the first month after the surgery. Which is okay for me now kasi since nagla-lockdown naman um, and there's COVID, so hindi naman talaga tayo makakalabas. So, uh, yun, may iwas ng maigi ang pagsuswimming. Regarding contact lenses, eyelash extensions, uh, you can use contact lenses 2 to 3 months after the surgery and only for a few hours. Wag naman yung whole day naka contact lens na agad because your eyes are still healing kahit nakakakita na kayo. Next are the eyelash extensions. It's the same 2 to 3 months after the surgery bago kayo magpakabit ng eyelash extension. So yun, this is talaga muna. So next question is, why Shinagawa? So I chose Shinagawa not only because they are the world's largest LASIK surgery provider, but also because as far as I know, they have the most advanced um, equipments and machines that they use for LASIK surgery. And they have um, three branches here. They have Makati, Ortigas, and BGC, which I think it's very convenient because tatlo yung branches eh, convenient siya for those who are in QC, for those who are in the South. Plus, they also offer 5 years enhancement warranty to other LASIK surgery patients. And they have a lot of promos. You can just check their Instagram for their ongoing promos. They offer 12 months installment for your LASIK surgery. They accept credit card, debit card, and I think they also accept GCash. 
So, it's an advantage. Okay, so next question is, what are the types of LASIK surgery? So, I have here a flyer from Shinagawa, and they have Ultra LASIK Advanced and Z Prime LASIK Pro. So, what they did to me was the Ultra LASIK Advanced, but they also have other vision correction procedures, which is, first is the RLE, which is Refractive Lens Exchange. Next is the Implantable Contact Lens corneal collagen cross-linking and thin flap lasik so to know more about it um, you can just check their website i'll put the link down below so you can check it just read read about it it's um different from one another so. we are now down to our last question which is is it worth it it is a hundred percent worth it especially for those who have been wearing eyeglasses since they were young because in my case i have been wearing eyeglasses since i was 16 to 23 years old so that's roughly seven years of my life and it was already troublesome so imagine if you were wearing eyeglasses since you were young it must be really really hard so uh, i would advise that it's better to get your lasik surgery as early as 18 years old so you can enjoy your 20s your 30s your 40s your 50s um, without wearing eyeglasses you can travel you can see clear uh, visions of the beauty around you and in my case in the engineering field it was a hassle to wear eyeglasses when i'm in a construction site or when i'm studying but na iwan yung glasses parang ang hirap hirap na i can't even see my friends from afar so yun i think it would be a big 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 help for me um in my future career or if i plan to travel the world yun mas maganda mo makikita yung nasa paligid mo if you're planning to get a lasik surgery i hope this video helped you um you can ask more questions if you like you can comment down below or you can send me a message on Instagram. I'll be happy to answer everything. So I just want to thank the Shinagawa BGC branch for taking good care of me. Um, pagpasok pa lang, everyone is very welcoming. They made me feel comfy. Special thanks to Dr. Francis Guerrero, Dr. Um, Terence Cham, Dr. Charo Del Sol who did my surgery and my post checkups. Um, Thank you so much for taking good care of my eyes and to the staff, to all the nurses who oriented us, who answered all our questions. Thank you so much. So that's it guys. I hope I help you know more about LASIK surgery and if you do have comments or any suggestions for my next vlogs, please do leave a comment down below. And also please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell to get notified on my next vlog. See you soon!